Houston. Come on. Let's give it Yes, I am a personal trainer in Oakland, California. My facility is 3442 uh, Adeline Street in West Oakland. If y'all familiar with like Emeryville, where the IKEA shopping centers, washrooms, everything, I'm like a block over. Um, I also do a radio show in Berkeley called Health Matters on 89.3 uh, KPFB. It comes on Sundays at 2. Uh, the reason why I do all these things for my community because I love that we have so many conscious people in here when it comes to the music and everything, but we also have to think about our health at the end of the day. Um, so many things are going on in our community right now. So many people getting killed, police violence, all these crazy things. And we think of you know all these people dying, but we don't know the number one killer in our community is not people getting killed in drive-bys by the police. It's actually health-related issues, y'all. It's high blood pressure, it's diabetes, it's cancer. These things are killing us by the hundreds of thousands every year. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to bring that level of consciousness back. Thank you, DJ. <laughs> Thank you, DJ. I'm trying to bring that level of consciousness back to our community because we do not talk about these things. We'll get up, we'll march, and we'll talk about other things that are going on when we feel like we're being violated. But these are things we can actually control with actually a little bit of physical activity every day and a little bit more awareness of what we're putting in our bodies. Um, a huge thing that's going on, like we all, who eats soul food in here? Raise your hand, make some noise. Yeah, we all eat soul food, right? But do we know why we eat soul food? Do we know the history of soul food? You know what I'm saying? Some of us don't, some of us do. And that's one thing that we have to get back to is understanding our history and where we come from. Because a lot of us, you know, we, we've learned our history up to slavery, but don't understand our true history when it comes before slavery. Hey son, this is my youngest son. Make some noise for my youngest son. Miguel. I got a couple of my boys with me here today. And uh, this is a huge reason. What's up, you wanna say something to the people? Say hi. 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 Say, so y'all ready to party? Are you ready to party? <laughs> Let me finish up, son, so we can get back to the music, okay? All right. Say bye to the people. Bye. <laughs> so this is a huge reason why I do what I do, because from a very young age, my dad told me that uh, uh, high blood pressure and diabetes ran in our family. And guess what? That's an absolute lie, y'all. The nutrition and the diets that are hand down generation to generation is what runs in the family. Not the diabetes, not the high blood pressure, okay? To give y'all something to think about out there. Um, so I don't want to talk y'all ears off about this because I'm very passionate about it. If y'all uh, want to talk to me in the back of the room, we can. But please, please follow me on social media. You guys can find me on Facebook, Cat Fitness. Um, you can also find me on Facebook with radio station Health Matters, Instagram, Cat Fitness 3. I'm always posting different things up there, bringing awareness to, you know, health, fitness, things that we really don't talk about in our community until something happens to us. Until that doctor tells you, hey, you got to take this high blood pressure medication, you got to take these, uh, the insulin for the diabetes, then we're like, damn, now we, now we got to go out there and work out. Why not be proactive and do something prior to these issues happening to us? So, you know, I just wanted to leave that, uh, plant that seed with y'all today. Thank you, Lindsay, for giving me, the, giving me this platform to talk to y'all people and, you know, just making us more conscious about health and how it's affecting our community. Um, let's get back to the party, y'all. You know, I don't want to hold y'all up.